Good day, friends. Malo here. Are larger tasks really worth it? In short, the answer is yes. For more details, keep watching. If you want to know my favorite place to farm Gundabad tasks, stick around till the end. With the Gundabad expansion, I was effectively able to level six tunes simply by turning in my daily task items. These included my Bjorning, my Champ, my Burglar, um, and a couple of others along with it. Turning in daily tasks and, lev and leveling up that way actually went a lot faster for me than having to take those tunes and go run quests in Gundabad, simply because those tunes had been Valard up to 130, and then I had only landscape gear to quest with. So they would die super, super easily in Gundabad. So I just parked them as the task board, took out my hunter, farmed the task items, and then just funneled it to my individual tunes. And then they would just sit there every day, turning in tasks, gaining experience. With the Season 3 reward track, you are now also able to gain level increases with your reward track simply by completing task items. So what is a task? A task is a repeatable quest that can be picked up from a task bulletin board and there are several of them throughout all of Middle Earth depending on what level you're at. But they start at level 8. This is typically vendor trash that drops from killing mobs in landscape and instead of running to sell off those items I recommend first stopping by the bulletin board turning in what you have, and then anything left over that you're not going to use, go ahead and vendor it. On your quest log, you will see what your limit is for your tasks. So you can see here I have daily tasks 0 of 8 completed. Everyone starts with a task quota of 5. This means you can only complete 5 tasks per day, and you can increase that task limit by spending mithril coins. You can see here increased task limit and it cost 20 coins to increase your task limit. You can also upgrade your task limit by completing task deeds. If you go to your deed log and you look under class race epic that you can select here from the bottom you will find the deed that tells you where you are. There are five deeds that are associated with completing tasks. The up-and-comer, you complete 100, go-getter, 200, busy bee, 300 tasks, eager beaver, 400 tasks, hotshot, 500 tasks. And with each completion of these, you will increase your task limit by one. So you can see I am doing the go-getter at the moment. I'm at 100 of 8 of 200 tasks completed. There are task boards all throughout Middle Earth. If you go to the Lotro Wiki Tasks Bulletin Board, which I will link in the description below, you will see where the bulletin boards are for each region, kind of what level you, you need to be with and what you need to be collecting. If we scroll down all the way to the bottom, you'll see what the Gundabad ones are, which is the level that I'm farming at the moment. There are four different places to go to for the task boards. I prefer to go to Noble Gate because I have increased my reputation enough to where I have a map to Noble Gate. And when good and bad, these are the things you want to collect. Cracked Axe, Frostrum Claw, Frostrum Ear, Frostrum Scrim Skin, and Gleaming Goo. These will um, be your task items that you turn in. You need to collect 10 of each. Um, everything else is vendor trash. Now when you do get friend reputation, you can come here and talk with the quartermaster and barter items and you will then have access to get the return to Noble Gate. So my typical process is I like to go to Glooming Tarn. The reason I like to go farm these tasks items in Glooming Tarn is because that map is the easiest to traverse in terms of um, not getting lost. And then also uh, it is 
everything is convenient in one location. Now I typically like to go to this goblin camp down here and farm cracked axes there. However, sometimes there's too much competition because there's a lot of folks that like to head down there to farm tasks. So I will show you my top three spots for farming tasks. My first favorite place to farm tasks is right here in this goblin camp. And I believe I have got a uh, medium task item carry all. These you can purchase from the Lotra store when they're available, or you can um, sometimes during the, the special events or if they're doing a new expansion, they're also up for sale. So any tasks that I'm farming right now, which will be the cracked axis that you can see, I had one cracked axe drop, they will come in here, okay? Pretty much each of these mobs drop, hopefully at least one cracked axe. And they're of sufficient low level to where you can easily solo it. You do not need an entire team of people to help you um, do this. Obviously the more the merrier, because the quicker stuff dies, um, the more cracked access you can get. Also the benefit of doing this with other folk is that everybody will get a cracked axe, not just um, the person getting, getting the kill shot. So it's a fun activity for a kinship to be involved with. If you find that there's too many people camped out there, which does happen from time to time, if there is a kinship that is taking a Saturday afternoons, for example, to farm them, there are two more spots that you can try. The next spot to farm here in Glooming Tarn is where all the Angmaram is. They also will drop cracked axes. However, their drop rate is not as high as with the goblins, but it is a good spot to also farm. These, um, this is one little camp that is right on the edge of the lake and the respawn rate here is pretty quick. Um, the third route that I have done is um, mostly focused on going around this entire circuit of um, Glooming Tarn. The benefit of doing this one is if you're farming the um, items for the geodes at the same time, it makes more sense to do this because there's plenty of geode spots all around this area and by the time you come around um, in the circuit they will have respawned again. So just kill everything inside, farm those geodes and get those items. Now once you have all the task items you want, it is time to head on back to the task board. You will notice that next to each task bulletin board, there's a task collection board. And this is where we will be turning in the tasks. So once we open up the task bulletin board, you will see here are all the tasks that you can complete. Click on them, accept, and you will see that it tells you here, deliver the cracked axe to a collection box. Now sometimes throughout Middle Earth it'll tell you to go to a specific person so be sure to check that out. Collection boxes will always be found next to the bulletin board. So you right click on the task and you finish now. Now you will see that there is a, ta a quest here, the task at hand. This is a weekly quest. If you turn in nine tasks, you will get this universal cra optional crafting component. This can be very useful when you're crafting essences, and the only other way to be able to get this is by going to the Lotro store. So it is very useful to have all your um, alts do at least 10 tasks a week. Every Tuesday I will be answering your questions. Drop a comment below to let me know what questions you have. This show is possible because of your support and encouragement. Become a patron and get access to more amazing content and see your name here in the credits. Thanks for watching.